Hi, I'm Amelia and my favourite art history topic is the nude. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a earthenware drug jar from 15th century Valencia. It was made in approximately 1435 to 1475, but we do not know who made it. It is made out of tin glazed earthenware, painted in cobalt blue and with a lustre, so it has a smooth glazed finish. It is a cylindrical jar and has a motif of flowers and leaves over it in this golden blue and this is associated with the Islamic culture. It has a central diamond with a symbol of a merchant bank and the scale is approximately 39.4 centimetres by 19.7 centimetres. So it was used um, in apothecaries for every day um, just for storing medicinal herbs. So I think it's interesting for especially for medicine students this idea that how we have to like understand why at the time they use this to like protect herbs and ointments and why they thought that it needs to be stored in such a decorative container. What purpose did these herbs serve and what was the purpose of doing this? I think that could genuinely be a question arised by medical students. Today it is housed in the V&A Museum in London and it shows the importance of Islamic art and the Moors on the Renaissance and particularly in Christian Valencia during that time period. The perfume burner that we were looking at from Venice was made out of brass. Around 1450s to the 1500s, so primarily the Renaissance period. This handheld spherical incense burner, it's very ornately decorated with intricate inlaid design of inter interlocking arabesque motifs which cover the entire surface. It was used in the Islamic world to burn incense and also in Europe it was used as like a decorative piece and collectors would normally have it. At first I wondered why is it a sphere um, and um, actually in the inside like when you open it there's different layers to it and they're round as well so if it was to roll over or fall nothing would spill out. While this object originated from Syria, where it has the Damascene pattern that was just based from Syria, it was then used as diplomatic gifts from the Mamluks to the Italian elite, and then it was copied by the Venetian elite with a new take on the Damascene pattern, which is sort of a westernised idea of an Eastern style.